Hi guys, I'm going to make another gravity powered car. I did one yesterday which was rather large, rather over engineered. It only needed to carry one kilogram weight and I think the one that I made would probably carry five times that quite easily. So tonight I'm going to make a, a more sensibly sized one using this plastic storage box. I actually used this before, um, it's got holes in it already. In fact I actually made a gravity powered car with it before. Um, but that was only carrying 200 grams. So tonight I'm going to modify it and get it to carry a kilogram. And so I've already drilled the axle holes out significantly larger so I can get stronger axles in it. So. That's the start. I've already drilled the holes. I'm going to use the axles that I used in the over-engineered car, which are wooden dowels, which happen to be exactly the right thickness to go through the centre of a CD. The other thing I did last night was I used four CDs for each wheel, and that gave us the strength. So I'll probably use them again, but we'll use this plastic storage box as the chassis. So all I'm going to do is hot glue a tower on top. I'm going to mount it this way up, cut the centre out so we've got somewhere for the weights to drop through. I'm going to glue the lid back in place so that we've got something for the weights to drop onto and see if it can carry a kilogram. For spacers to stop the CDs rubbing against the side of the lid I'm using the threaded part of my pop bottles. They just happen to be a good size to sit there and space the CDs away from the edge. So that's convenient because I've already got four of them cut out. Axles in place, four CDs on each side. I've hot glued the, the top back on, which is now the bottom. I've also put some cardboard in the bottom there to protect it when the weights drop on it. So now we need to build the tower. We're nearly ready for a test run. What we need is a kilogram of weight. I've got a load of my old lead fishing weights. And I've got a, some scales that go in pounds and ounces. So what we need is one kilogram is two pounds, 3.2 ounces. So if I set my scales here to two pounds, three and a quarter, that'll be about right. So with these scales, it's when this bit comes up and down like this that it balances. It has to line up with the bar just there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So those lead weights add up to one kilogram. So I'll tie them to my fishing line and see how we do. The fishing line I think is 18 pound brake strain so that should be more than enough to carry a kilogram. There we go, so that's our kilogram lead weight. Now we need to fit that to our gravity.
gravity car. Connect it to me. Back axle. Okay, let's turn it around. Look it up to the other end of the kitchen. fully wound. Okay, kilogram of weight. See how far we go. Well, that was the full length of the kitchen, easily. carry the extra weight all I've done is I've doubled my flower canes and just tied them together with cable ties so they're not even glued together so there we go these are the parts from one of my other gravity cars the pulley is out of a record player that's just a paper clip going across with a couple of beads on it to hold the pulley in the right place. The chassis is just a storage box. I've turned it upside down so it's got slopes in the right directions for the flower canes because they're just hot glue to the outside. They're actually caught in the rim and hot glued down there and then hot glued up the side. And then from that point on they're double. So we've got double thickness flower canes. Each wheel is four CDs and the axle is wooden dowel that is the same thickness as the centre of the CD. So that is a nice simple gravity car. Much simpler than that one I showed last night. And for just carrying a kilogram of weight, this, this one is absolutely fine.